and today is the first day of medical school. All right, today is day two of med school. I have attempted to freshen up this morning. It is 7.30 and the first class starts at 8 a.m. But I'm gonna grab a quick breakfast. I'm actually gonna try an oatmeal savory bowl that I put in my med student cookbook. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll put a video where I discuss that up here. Sorry I look awful and sound awful because I feel awful, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I got this super big box of oatmeal from the store yesterday. All right, update. This oatmeal stuff currently looks not tasty at all. It's actually super good. It's literally tastes like rice with broccoli and eggs and chives and, or green onions and that's a pretty good combination. The only difference is that it's not rice and it's really healthy whole wheat oats. So I, I think this is going to be a uh, fairly common regular. This is super cool because it's basically a full medical history, very thorough. So it kind of like checklist to go through. All right, it is new and I'm gonna go ahead and take a break, grab the leftover pizza I had from yesterday and then next at 1 p.m. I have the lecture over membranes. I just finished the pre-work for my histology, epithelium, and glands lecture, and I was gonna take this pre-work quiz, but I just heard a knock on the door, and I pulled out this box. It's a folding bike. I was super excited about this, and I'll unpackage it later, but I just wanted to show you guys as soon as I got it, at least the box. Fragile, handle with care. All right, so I just finished all the pre-work and the quiz, uh, did well on that. And now I'm going to go through basically starting to add my Anki cards to what I need to do. Right now it just says 00, zero because I haven't unsuspended any cards. But if you guys have watched me in other videos, you guys know that I have done Anki in the past. But this is my first time doing it in med school. So let's see how that goes starting today. I will be adding these cards as I make my notes for the membrane lectures that I did today. Before starting Anki and doing the notes, I do need to take a quick break, probably grab a snack, take a breather. But I did want to tell you guys that I really enjoyed the history lecture earlier today in my doctoring course. It was just a basic intro on how to take a history, the questions you ask, the process you go through, also taking a medical history and those type of things. And tomorrow we will get to practice on each other before working with standardized patients virtually. So pretty excited to kind of do the real life doctor stuff along with the basic science stuff you have to go through before you get to the real life stuff. Hey guys, it is 7 a.m. on Wednesday, third day of medical school. I wanted to look decent today because I have a meeting with the doctoring professor who is a physician who kind of runs it all, but I am not fully dressed to impress. I have Adidas sweats on, but the top up looks good, which is all that matters right now. But I'm gonna go ahead and grab some cereal and get right to work today. Hi, I'm Derek. I'm a medical student here, and is it okay if I do a history on you before my attendant comes in? Awesome. Uh, you're Evan Jones, right? It's your date of birth. So the pain starts in your lower back and shoots into your legs. So how long has this been happening? You said since yesterday, and is it constant or is it uh, every once in a while intermittent pain? I'm otherwise um, pretty healthy. This is the only problem I've really been having. I was 
having a pretty normal day and I was eating and talking with my family and then it, the pain just suddenly came on. So here's my first fake patient interview write up ever. I had someone come in with bad back pain. The pain shot into their legs and they aren't able to walk as well. And we went through a whole medical history, surgical history, meds, allergies, review of other systems. And the testament I ended up with was completely on a whim. We were allowed to be wrong because it's our first one and they didn't really tell us an answer, but I guess it either could be sciatica, muscle strain, herniated disc, or piriformis syndrome. And the plan I put at the end was to run a CT scan and rule out any herniated disc and do an electromyography in the legs to test muscle contraction and place the patient on nerve medication or over-the-counter NSAIDs. So I thought this was pretty fun, even though like 90% of this is probably like in some form wrong, but I had fun. Here I am starting my histology journal and at this point I have no idea what I'm getting myself into. Alright, so it is 6 o'clock and I just finished taking notes for the day. The first foundation lecture we had today was over homeostasis and body fluid compartments. And then the second foundations lecture was histology. Histology does not seem to be my strong suit right now. I'm trying to get better at it. Histology is kind of weird to me because I gotta learn what a lot of the dyed and non-dyed structures are but it's coming along slowly. Right now, what I'm gonna go do is, now that I've understood the lectures and kind of have an understanding, I'm gonna go unsuspend the Anki cards for today's homeostasis and histology lectures and go do those. Today is a new day and we have lots of things to do today and by things I mean lectures on top of lectures so I'm gonna eat my coffee today and possibly two of them. Some more histology, yay! Alright guys, so this is what it said. It said found an organ subject to bending and stretching. And I typed found in oranges subject to bending. I might need to take a break. Oh let me see. Hello. Oh hey guys, it is Friday and I know I told you guys I would show you what I was doing yesterday night, but everything just got so overwhelming, so I'll show you this morning. I'm sorry I kind of fell behind. So what I was doing yesterday was working on notes for the autonomic nervous system and I'll kind of scroll through a little bit and show you guys. This was not something that was too much out of my comfort zone because I was a psychology major and took a few neuroscience classes, but histology has been a struggle for me and that is what I was doing also yesterday. I was doing histology of connective tissue and I've heard of some of the terms before, but a lot of the imaging is new for me and learning how to look for cell membranes and the difference in the pictures and they just look a bunch of swirly pink mush to me right now so i'm trying to get better at that but what you guys are seeing now are those histology notes the day before that i did histology of epithelial glands and epithelium and it's going okay but like i said it's something that needs to get better it's a weakness of mine something that's been taking quite a bit for me to get used to and I still have more ways to go, but I'm trying to figure out and tweak and figure out ways to constantly make it better because right now the semester is past fell, like I told you guys in this video, that's somewhere up there. And this is the time for me to tweak and better and make my study habits as efficient and optimal as possible. So it's okay for me to kind of make mistakes and try out new things and go by kind of a process of elimination but anyway, again, sorry for yesterday and not filming the end of that. But today's a new day and I have office hours for histology at 10 to 11 and then I have an anatomy meeting at 11. But first, as always, breakfast and coffee.
All right, so I just logged on to my Anki, and it says I only have 127 cards to do today. So I'm super excited about that. Yesterday it was like 190 something, and I was just... So let's get them done. All right, so I just finished doing my Anki cards, and I wrote down on a sheet of paper Kind of the things I'm struggling with so I've decided to start doing that while I'm doing Aki cards and just so I can go back and check over it and make sure I have it down it's called a weekend checklist I have until the following Monday to get those locked down and then I also am about to take a formative which is a practice test for us med students to kind of check what we know and don't know so I'm also going to be adding to the weekend checklist things that I struggled with on the formative. So I told you guys that I would expand on my pass tracker in the last video that I did. So a pass tracker is basically a way to keep track of all of your lectures. And basically the biggest uh, purpose behind it is seeing how many passes you have gone through it. And a pass is basically how many times you've seen it. Also a good way to track your difficulty um, and kind of keep track of that, any additional materials and anything that was hard for you. Um, also, there's a section for whether I've added it to Anki or reviewed it on Anki yet. And it's just in general a good way to make sure I'm staying up to date with every lecture in class because it can get to be a lot. It's histology time. So fun. We have histology of the muscle going on right now. guys so it is coming to the end of the week it is coming to the end of the day I take Fridays off a little bit shorter than I do the weekdays to allow myself to have kind of a break during the week this week has been quite the journey in itself and I have so many more weeks to go before I have that MD behind my name but this week started off really strong as you guys could probably see in the first video I was probably glowing way more in that one than in this video uh, there's a lot of learning curves that I will have to go through and there was a lot that kind of hit me fast in days two and three. So it wasn't all butterflies and cupcakes and I knew it wasn't going to be. I knew what I was getting myself into. That does not take away from the fact that it was wild, but at least I was ready for it to be wild. And I know the leading weeks are going to be even more wild. So stick around and see how we go through that. And I will be as transparent as possible with you guys. So you guys really know what it's like. I'm going to go make some dinner now. But thank you guys so much for coming with me on this kind of monumental week for me. And if you found value in this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. It really does help me out a lot. And if you're only subscribed to me on YouTube, you're only getting half the story, make sure you follow me on Instagram. But until the next video, I will see you on the next MedHead.